Ah, my doctor said I've got a tendon being compressed by a bone and they want to shave this bone off to sort it out. Well, this sounds mad, but is this actually a, a real thing? Well, yes, it is actually. There is an actual surgery where they go in keyhole and they shave a bit of bone off and they shave it off what's called the acromion process. Uh, and it's called a, an arthroscopic subacromial decompression. And it's utilized in a condition called impingement syndrome, shoulder impingement syndrome. And this uh, condition is a hotly debated topic. In fact, I've written a whole blog article on this quite in depth with a lot of research showing that actually, you know, it is it is a condition, but it's not quite as we once thought. Impingement itself is actually quite a normal thing to happen in your shoulder and therefore not necessarily a problem, uh, which also means that the shaving of this bone off may also not be the right approach as well. So what we're looking at here in this video is how effective an arthroscopic subacromial decompression surgery actually is. And they looked at a systematic review here and they got people with shoulder pain and that shoulder pain had to have lasted for more than three months. And of course, if you look at the NICE guidelines on, on uh, surgery and things like that, you wouldn't be doing surgery willy-nilly and quickly. You've obviously got to try conservative treatment. You've got to try and see if time alone will settle things down. And obviously that's why uh, the surgery was done at this sort of point. So obviously they must have been indicated for the surgery. You know, they must have seen signs of impingement and uh, or the uh, chromium shape looked, um, you know, in the way kind of thing. So they went and did the surgery. So in this study, again, the systematic review, they actually found that it did give pain relief and it did improve quality of life for, for a year beyond the actual surgery, which sounds great. You think, brilliant, there you go, sorted. Ah, but they also did a placebo version of the surgery where they actually effectively didn't shave off the bone. And what they found was it was the same, the same outcome. So basically it still was effective. It still brought pain relief and it still was uh, better on quality of life a year later, but it was no better than a placebo. So this doesn't poo poo the placebo idea. Uh, it highlights that you've got to sometimes look at this, the big picture. Surgery is quite an invasive thing by nature. It's quite a big thing to undertake. Um, and there's a lot of stock and, and a lot of uh, expectation placed into it. And, um, you know, this all makes placebo more powerful. Not all placebos are created equal. So this surgery obviously does work. Uh, and people will always say, ah, but it worked on me, so it can't be a placebo. But placebos also work, as this highlights. So you've got to be careful with regards to sometimes jumping in the deep end with certain things. It highlights that, you know, you've got to get, um, you know, understand the condition, uh, educate about the condition, um, versus just have this very mechanical structuralism of there's a, a bone that needs shaving off and that'll sort me out. It may actually be you've got to get more tolerant to that bone in the in the way as such, not that it really is, but you know, you've got to get more tolerance built up, more strength built up, more resilience built up. You've got to have, uh, you know, the right expectations, the right sort of treatments, and maybe that will do the trick. Now, I know you could say someone might have done all that, and then surgery may well be the answer. It's not a categorical 100%. Not everyone is gonna find that the surgery is not gonna be any better than a placebo. There are gonna be cases where legitimately there was an actual problem in that acromion space. You know, there could be something, an osteophyte sticking into that tendon or bursa, as an example. But not in all cases, and certainly not as probably prevalently as the surgery is done it's done very often and actually considering this research and many other research done it shows you that it's a little bit dicey as to whether it should be all the time there's got to be more care taken i think um, but anyway that's it for this video and i'll see you next time